lighting is terrible. I'm sorry. But obviously, I decided to come to the beach for the last sunrise in 2020. Um, I don't think we're really going to see a sunrise because it's really cloudy. But we're going to sit here until it does anyway. Um, it's pretty breezy, but it's not cold out. Like, it's not cold out. Like, it's like 54 degrees, I think. So, it's kind of nice. water puddle over there looks like a heart. I'm going to flip you around, see if you guys can see that, at least from this distance. I might actually walk up and see if it actually does. Close up. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I thought what better way than to end the year than on a positive note, and that is with the last sunrise, and hopefully we'll go see the last sunset. But Again, cloudy. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I got Starbucks when I left work. Which I am proceeding to spill all over me. I had blankets in the car. It's not really super cold out, but... I'm sure I look really crazy talking to a phone. I didn't really see much of a sunrise, but that's okay. It was pretty nonetheless. The clouds and stuff. <laughs> so, I think the most exciting thing was watching the boy run into the ocean on a dare from all of his friends. And, um, you know, part of me was like, I started out thinking, Oh my God, this boy's stupid. Like, no sense. Cause I'm sure that water's cold. Um, you know, it is winter. And I know, cause we usually jump into it in February. But, um, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's stupid. What if he hurts himself? What? If? And I'm like, you know what? Like, he didn't hurt himself. Um, I'm sure he's cold, but you know, he did it. And despite any fear or any feelings that he had that would hinder him from doing so, he did it. And that's it's kind of been like part of, a big part of my mind lately is fears and you know what we're afraid what we're afraid of and you know how when you're younger you don't have any fears you know or you do but they're not the same kinds of fears 
And then as we get older, our fears change and they become different and we're afraid to do things out of fear. And it's like, I really hadn't expected to get into this conversation right now. I was actually planning to film a separate video and I still plan to because there's a story that I want to tell, but you know, just to touch base on 2020 and everything, you know, a lot of this is just fear, you know, fear of getting sick, fear of getting COVID, fear of spreading COVID, you know, fears. And I'm not saying we shouldn't have, I don't think we should have fear, but I think we should be safe. Like there's a difference in that. Like it's very real, but you shouldn't live in fear. Like you just shouldn't. Um, nobody should. You know, I spent a lot of years living in fear. Um, and now I'm not. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm going to go out and do stupid stuff. Because I'm not. I'm 42. I can't go jump into the ocean like that and expect to walk out of it without some kind of repercussion. You know, if I was 16, maybe. But I also know that I'm not really afraid to do anything anymore. Um, there's lack of knowledge there. Like, I wish I knew how to do a lot of things or go about things or, you know, all of that. But I don't. And again, that's okay too. But it's like we've, we're so much, spend so much time living in fear. Somebody shared a quote with me a while back and it's stuck with me and it's probably now one of my most favorite quotes. My favorite quote is, it's never too late to be what you might have been. That's always gonna be my favorite quote um, because it's true, it's never too late to be what you might have been. Like, so don't be afraid to start fresh every day. Um, but it's, uh, fears and insecurities are subconsciously created by us. If we do not create them, they do not exist. And it's so true. Like, the only reason we're afraid of something is because we've subconsciously created that fear in anything. Um, it doesn't make it any less real because it's, you, you, it's real. Like, I mean, there's real anxieties and real feelings with fear. And it, you can't just chalk that up. But I don't know. Like I said, I mean, there's, I, I've really thought a lot about this over the last few days because this past year has really, well, the last two years, really, I gotta get over. Anybody? Sorry, like, I, this is why I haven't filmed a video or told any of this, because getting it from inside here out is a struggle for me a lot of the time. Like, a lot of the time. Like, I, I really do struggle with that, because, like, I know what my brain's thinking, and I know it's going through there, but putting it into words and getting it out is a lot harder to do. Which is probably why I don't have very many friends. <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't. And I mean, I have, I have friends, but I, when I think of friends, I think of people that are really close to me that I want to spend time with. And I have a handful, I have literally a handful, like I just, because I just, I don't know, like, I don't know. I mean, I spent 13 years with my best friend and the whole wide world and like, I didn't need anybody else. But now, and it's not that I don't need anybody else, because, I mean, there are days that I long to have somebody else. I mean, I have people. You know, there's Wawa and there's, but I mean, like, I don't know what I mean. I have no idea. Again, I'm rambling. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm talking about. But, um, I'm just talking. But, um, I, you know, just over this last year, like, I just really got to know myself, I guess. 
this the word for that? Like, you know, different things that make me tick and things that I had to work through and deal with and get through and focus on and not focus on. And I realized I'm, I'm not that terrible to be around. <laughs> so, I, you know, and there are some days where I just long to just be by myself. I mean, I love my kid, you know, and my dogs and I love, you know, my friends and stuff. But there are days where I just want to just, just me. No other sounds but me and my own thoughts and whatever it is that I want to do and see. And, oh, and I'm okay with that. I really am. So that's something, right? Um, because when, when Greg first passed away, I just didn't know how I was going to survive without having somebody. I didn't. I'll be honest. I had no clue how I was going to make it. And now I'm just like, just fine just like I thought I would <laughs> you know I always said once or if anything ever happened that, that would be it you know I don't know that that's the truth anymore because <laughs> you know I mean there's a God is a way of showing you shit that you really never expected to see so but I do know that it's different the world's different life's different I'm different and you guys are all probably clicking off your computers right about now because I'm not making any sense I'm making sense to myself but I'm sure I'm not making any sense to you and yeah there's that <laughs> but that's the story of my life but anyway so going into 2021 um, you know, I said earlier, we're not going to vlog like we were. We're just not. I've, there's a number of reasons for that. One, I just haven't been feeling it for a long time. It was different. When Greg was here, it was just, it was what we did. It was what we had. I'm super grateful for what we had, but there are a lot of videos I put up and I'm just like, eh. And I'm not, I didn't start this channel to put up videos for everybody else. I did it for myself to have the memories, to have the videos to look back on, to have all of that I, and to give me something to do as a creative outlet and so on and so forth. I didn't do it for everybody else. So I'm going to go back to doing it for just me. Well, not just me, Lacey too, because Lacey wants to film too. But we're just gonna film other things now. We're not gonna film our everyday life. Um, so that's one of the main reasons. Something that threw me over the edge was on one of my last videos, I got a very negative, hurtful comment. Um, and, you know, I don't hold any store to people who leave negative comments 98% of the time. I just delete them and move on with my life. But this one had a lot of truth behind it that really kind of hit home for me. Um, nothing that I didn't already know, nothing that I wasn't already aware of or whatever, but the way it was put out to me was very hurtful and I don't want to subject me or Lacey to that anymore. Um, it's one thing if I'm putting up a video about trying some new foods and you say, oh, well, I can't believe you guys did that or that's disgusting or that's one thing. I don't care. But when you start digging into my life and throw in comments about my life, that's different. And I don't need to be subjected to that, neither does Lacey. So that's kind of threw me over the edge on the whole vlogging thing. Doesn't mean we won't ever vlog, okay? Um, even Lacey said, well, we can vlog some of the time. And, you know, maybe we'll do like a week long vlog where we decide, okay, well, this week we're gonna vlog and we'll put up one video of a week long vlog of what we did for a week. I don't know, but I know that I wanna put more content out there than just, hey, look, I went shopping today. Or, hey, look, we did this today. I wanna to go back to experiencing new things like we did with TNT, researching new products and new challenges and new foods and new, other things that we can focus on because one that broadens our horizons you know what I mean that 
get to us out there in some cases out of our comfort zone and others trying things we never would have tried before um you know <laughs> we put up some pretty funny videos on tnt if you guys recall um if any of you guys watch them if you remember the tuna video the t-o-o-n-a the vegan tuna video if i could find that video and put it back up i would because it was hysterical <laughs> um I think the only people who thought that that was vaguely appetizing were the dogs. <laughs> so I just, there are just some of those videos that just really hit home and just were really fun and memorable and it was a good time. So that's what I want to go back to. So that's what we're going to work towards. Um, I'm also thinking about changing the channel name. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. It's not that I don't like the what ifs. The what ifs was more of a, um, of vlogging, let's see what life has in store, let's think about positively, let's talk about our journey type of, of videos. And I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm just, or at least not all the time. So, so yeah, so that's things I'm thinking about. Um, right now in my brain, I'm also thinking about past today and tomorrow, we're gonna just not worry about videos for a whole month, so. You won't see us again until February, which is when I'll we'll bring up um, or start the new process channel, whatever. I don't know. So I'm editing this <laughs> editing this vlog, and I cut this last clip because. After this point, I go on to discuss how I need to clean the car and how I'm probably just going to end the vlog now and so on and so forth. And then I end up just abruptly ending it because I, in my brain at that point in time, had decided I wasn't going to use any of the footage. Come on, Chaz. Can I have some space here? <sighs> the personal space. I get none. <laughs> um, anyway, so I just cut the clip there. Um, I decided in my head I wasn't going to use it. So I was just like, I go off in this thing. Oh, sorry. So that's why I cut it. Um, real quick, to kind of sum things up. Yes, we're still going to film the videos. No, they won't be vlogs. Um, we still may vlog occasionally, but mostly we are going to start doing some other types of videos. Um, there will be more information and everything on that to come when I make some official decisions inside this head of mine and can have some kind of a plan of what I'm going to do. So we're not going anywhere per se, but things are going to change up a little bit. Um, after this, the next clip is just us going to the lights. Um, we did that this evening. It was fun. We really enjoyed it. Um, they were pretty neat, so I'm glad we actually ended up going. It was the last day. We made it, though. Oh, I mean, that's all that matters, and I am so tired, guys. Um, it's kind of over the, all over the place today because I went into work super early this morning, and then I left work and went to the sunrise, but then I had to go back to work they were calling me back in between 10 30 and 11 because we were busy and then I worked till this evening um yeah things are crazy at work I don't have any days off so I doubt I'm going to be able to stay up till midnight and that's okay because life is just life um but I just wanted to officially end the vlog here I am going to go on. Lacey. Where's Lacey? Oh, Tara, come here. Um, you're going to see the footage of the lights after this, but I just wanted to come on and wish everybody a very, very, very happy new year. And I hope that 2021 is healthy, happy, and full of love for everybody.
because I'm ending this vlog for today and we all need to sure. yell Happy New Year. By the way, guys, that's Danielle. Hello. We never actually officially get to film very much with her in it, but that's okay. I see. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm making a ring. <laughs> this is what our New Year's Eve consists of. This so much easier to work with. I got a chihuahua on my lap. She's making rings. and I don't know what she's doing. On TikTok. She's on TikTok. What's new? Hey, was I wrong? All right, guys. We love you. Have a wonderful, beautiful New Year's. <laughs> And we will see you in the next one, one next year. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. If we go to Florida, we have to go meet Elsa, Anna, and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Elsa, Anna, that's not me. Forget Mickey Mouse. And to all, and Goofy. A good night. <laughs>